Hi, I'm James from Vintage Bricks. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to do something exciting. We are going to take one of these old sets. This is the King's Castle 6080, and here it is. And we are going to take this castle and do what it's made to do, expand it, and add other sets from the Crusader Lionite set and create a village. So, hope you enjoy this video. It's going to be really fun. Okay, so let's start with the overview. We are going to try to create this. Put two sets together using the pins. So let's give the stop motion a try here. And the guys are going to be busy building this set and lots of activity in the neighborhood. There are no stickers in this set, which we'll like. Uh, there's Robin Hood going in prison. A lot of things here are um, brick built. Because in 84, they didn't have a lot of specialized pieces. One piece they used a whole lot of are these wall pieces, over 30 of those, which is a record. They were building the back busily and the front. This is built in different sections because it does swing out eventually here. And the details in front, again, no pre-built gate in there. So there are lots of little pieces. That's the fun part of the build. Then we'll finish off by building the tower and putting on some fine details here. This is our goal, to make the village. So first we'll line up all of the sets that I'm going to put out here. Lots of different ones. These are all the uh, Crusader sets or Lionite sets. Step one is to put together the 6080 sets. Then start adding some of the extra Crusader sets. You can see on the top left there I have the 6081 set, the King's Mountain Fortress. Add some walls on the left here, some more minifigures, some things inside the castle walls, including the uh, guarded inn. And there you have it, our diorama or village here, which it was a joy to make here. So a little close up here, a scan of it. You can probably recognize some of these sets in here. The key feature of this video though is the 6080 set. Now that we have our village put together, I'm going to go ahead and take some photos of the minifigures in action and post those on Flickr. So enjoy those photos, which will be coming. And then, hey, please subscribe so you can catch our next video. Thank you. Okay, some details. The shields are these lions. And where'd they come from? Well, they really are represent Richard the Lionheart, I believe. On the left is his emblem, and it sure looks a whole lot like the emblem that the Lego group decided. Here you can see the cross axes, a very recognizable medieval symbol. Here are the guys. You'll notice that the horses only have one clip. Uh, that changes pretty soon. Let's look at the minifigures. One thing to look for are faded a crest on the chest. And sometimes there's just things that are broken or removed. Hey, here's a castle in Sintra Port that we visited a few years ago, my wife and I. And it was, I loved it because it looked like a Lego castle. And in fact, I could just envision Lego people walking along the walls there of that castle, 700 AD. Well, hope you've enjoyed this video. And again, subscribe if you would like our next one. Thank you.